Good morning. It is Saturday morning and uh, Samantha and I are on a road trip. We are headed to Boston this morning and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. The sun is shining. It's going to be, what's the temperature now? 41. It's going to be in the 50s. It's going to be an actual spring day. So we are apparently we're making some weird noises back there we are headed to Boston I have a really good friend in Boston uh, who I've known for many many years it'll be 30 years this year as a matter of fact we've known each other and she uh, when I was a nanny in Boston yes I was a nanny in Boston she uh, had come to Boston to uh, visit uh, for a little while she's from Germany and um, she came to explore the states and I met her then and we've been friends ever since and one of the wonderful things that has happened um, in my life sometimes just lucky things happen we were like immediately close and we've stayed friends all of these years and her husband has a, a job and he works for a company that's based in Massachusetts and they had an opportunity to come here temporarily for um, for three years and working in Boston so it's the first time um, in our friendship other than when she was here um, for that extended visit uh, back in 1988 that we've lived on the same continent so um, you know I know her kids I've known them since they were little she's known Samantha since she was a baby in fact she's uh, one of Samantha's godmothers and um, it's just been we've been so fortunate blessed and I mean it's just amazing that you know this opportunity came up for them to go to Boston for for three years so we're at the end of our three years uh, she's gonna be leaving at the end of June and it's gonna be devastating uh, because I'm used to having her here we spent all our holidays together over the last three years we get together at least once a month uh, sometimes more and uh, to not have her here to have her with an ocean between us again is is gonna be um, it's gonna be hard for a little while but it just means that more trips to Europe in our future and I'm I know she'll be over here a lot but it just it won't be the same so it's a beautiful weekend and I thought I should be doing an open house um, it's a great weekend for open houses but you know what Barbara Bush died this week and one of the things she said is I was gonna not go to Boston this weekend one of the things she said was you'll never regret um, the things at the end of your life you regret are not the job you didn't take the interview you didn't do um, the paper you didn't write the things you regret are not spending the time with the people that you love so when that happened this week I'm like there's my message and I'm going with it and uh, I'm gonna go spend time with her because it's it's precious we've only got a couple of months left so Sam and I are ready for our road trip we are leaving New York right now and we are headed to Boston it's gonna take us about two and a half hours we've got books we've got music and we have each other so have a great day everyone I'll try to do some filming from from Beantown okay we made it we are here we are in Boston took us three hours and we had a great time didn't we Samantha mm -hmm. would you do the whole time she's hot and uh, anyways three hours and we are technically in Brighton so this was our destination and as usual this construction on the street and uh, but we have more leaves, more flowers, a um, couple of things blooming. I see some uh, crab apple trees blooming, so it's going to be a great day. Here we are. Okay, so it is such a beautiful day. So we decided, well, we were going to go to the John Adams house, but apparently today is free National Park Day or something. So, you know, everyone in New England decided to go there so we didn't go there so we're in Quincy Massachusetts now and we thought well if we can't do that let's go to the beach it's such a beautiful day so many things have popped and uh, you can kind of can you see Samantha over there getting some of her shells and here we are here's my buddy hi everybody who shall remain nameless <laughs> behind the sunglasses behind the sunglasses and there you can see you can see the city of Boston, but what a beautiful day. Just beautiful. Here we are in Quincy, Mass, and 
you know, it only took us three hours to get here. So three hours from farmland in upstate New York to uh, the ocean, essentially. It's a great place to live. So this is how we roll on a Sunday morning in Boston. There's Johannes, cook extraordinaire. There's Catherine, and there's, what's her name? We're not naming her. <laughs> and here's Samantha. And we are celebrating birthday this morning, so we have a feast on the table. Check it out. We like to come here for breakfast. It's like the best bed and breakfast in Boston. If you're around, what are we doing here? We have bacon, to care, <laughs> yeah, egg. eggs. Get this out of the oven. Mm -hmm. Yep. Petra doing her thing. Ooh, I said her name. Oh, oh no. We're going to miss this place when they go. It's an awesome house that they've rented here in Brighton, and uh, it's been a fun time. Ooh, let's take a look. Very nice. Very nice. Alrighty, here's the feast. We're just waiting for the birthday boy. Big 19. I don't think I've ever spent a birthday, an actual birthday birthday, right? Moritz? Definitely not with Moritz. I don't know about uh, Kathy. We, we did one. All right, so the next birthday I spend with these guys will have to be across the pond. Okay, continuing on with our Boston weekend. It is another fabulous day, and we are in the uh, public garden. Of course we are. And the swan boats are going. Can you see them back there? Yeah, I think so. And uh, yeah, there's some kind of parade going on. We're not sure what it is, um, but there's always something. But the parking gods were with us. We got amazing park it on, parking on Charles Street, so uh, we didn't have to pay for parking, which is awesome. But the uh, public garden kind of means uh, means a lot to me and means a lot to our family and you know of course uh, Frank growing up here and I have pictures of him and his sisters on the swan boats when they were little kids and, and Sam has done it and Frank actually proposed to me in in the public garden which is awesome um, oh so many years ago but uh, yeah so we're gonna do a little tour around and uh, the tree leaves, you can see I'm under a weeping willow and uh, the seeds have popped. So spring is definitely coming. I think we have finally, finally uh, seen the reality come. And the grass has a little tint of green. It is just perfect. Perfect, perfect. We love Boston. All right, here's the end of... The end of the weekend. Sam and I are getting ready to hit the road. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> and uh, yeah, great weekend. Ending it out on the patio right where it started when I got here, which is fabulous. And we had a great time. We too. Thank good, good, good. Thank you for coming. Yes, always. Great place Thank to stay. <laughs> great, uh, great I weekend. I'm happy to be with us. Yes, very happy to be with my dear friends who are leaving me soon. <laughs> okay, next stop. New York. Nope. Oh, it's a lot darker. I guess we do need the light. Yikes. Okay, so we are back. It is, I don't know what time it is. It's 8 o'clock. So we just got back from Boston, back in New York. We had a really good weekend. And, um, you know, I, I can't say it enough. One of the best parts about living here is that you can travel a few hours and be in a completely different space. So we did... We went through the Berkshires. We saw a ton of deer on the way home. Um, you know, we got there yesterday morning. We went to, we had coffee on the patio when we got there because it was so beautiful. And then we went to Quincy and we saw the ocean and we collected shells. Where are all of your shells? Do you know? Mm -hmm. Back here. Oh, I found the other one in my purse. Has a little piece of clam in it. And um, we went out to dinner last night in, uh, at Chestnut Hill. And then we uh, got up this morning, had a wonderful brunch, and went into Boston, spent some time in the public garden, walked around a little bit, 
Sam had Chipotle for lunch. They don't have lettuce because of the whole lettuce fiasco, <laughs> but that's okay. And uh, then we had another another wonderful coffee in the afternoon um, on the deck. It was just so great to sit outside, wasn't it? And we had a nice ride home. Right? Yeah. I listened to my book. Sam played on her game. All I heard was birds tweeting. We're tired. Time to go in. Time to go to bed. Say goodnight. Night. Night.